Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Apex. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks to customize your Android phone's home screen and make it look better. We use a lot of applications like wallpaper apps, widget apps like KWGT, launches like Nova. We also use Samsung Theme Store if we have a Samsung phone. But we often end up not getting a perfect personalized look and feel on the phone despite using all these apps. In this video, I will share some tips to get the best out of what you do to customize the home screen on your phone. Alright, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and be a part of Apex community. And yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. That is going to encourage me a lot. Now, let's get rolling. The first tip is to blur your wallpaper. On the home screen for your widgets to stand out, you can blur your wallpaper by using a simple application called Blur Wallpaper. I have left a link in the description below for you to download it. You can easily set the extent of blur on the wallpaper you have already applied. Like you can see here, I have blurred the wallpaper 50% which makes the widget on the home screen look much better. If you really want to see a clear wallpaper or if you want to see all the contents on your wallpaper then you don't have to do this. Anyways, just try doing this and let me know your thoughts. The next tip is regarding setting your icons on the home screen. Generally, we go with Nova Launcher, which is a very versatile launcher on Android platform and allows you to customize loads of things on your phone's home screen. So here, while setting the icon layout on the home screen or even on the app's drawer for that matter, apply the maximum grids possible and reduce the size of the icons. Remove the labels on the icons or keep the labels in single line if you really need it. While you are keeping the label on, just make sure the labels are again in contrast to your background wallpaper for a crisp view and remove shadow effect if it is applied already. You can decrease or increase the size of the icons to get a better look depending on your home screen's theme you have set. If you keep all these settings in mind, you can make your home screen look much better. Next one is setting a limited number of home screen on your phone, maybe 2 or 3 max. First home screen with some beautiful widgets and basic applications like messaging, calling and a couple of more which are essential and keep the rest of the icons you need on the second page or maybe you can extend it to the third page as well. This makes your home screen look elegant and uncluttered whenever you unlock it. When you have more space on the home screen, add multiple widgets like weather, search engine, calendar, etc. Avoid grouping applications in folders just to get a better aesthetics. Alright, now talking about widgets on your home screen, don't just set any widget which are available by default on your phone. Get KWGT Pro and use some amazing widgets on this app. I have already made a separate video on KWGT in detail. Visit the channel and check out that video which will give you a clear idea on how to use this wonderful application. Widget padding is another thing you can do to fit the widget properly on your home screen. The next step is on using the right wallpaper. Make sure you apply a wallpaper which is in contrast with your widget color. You can also keep a plain background for the widget rather than having a cluttered design. This makes the widget look clean and beautiful. Alright, now this tip is for Samsung phone users. Use Samsung Galaxy Theme Store effectively to customize your phone, but I don't suggest you to use Samsung icon packs because those icon packs do not provide uniform looks on all the icons. Only the system icons get a nicer look and rest of the app look creepy. So a good Samsung theme paired with Nova Launcher, a third-party icon pack and a nice wallpaper makes your Samsung phone customization very effective. The last tip perhaps you would already be knowing but if you don't know, here it is. You can download some of the apps which offer presets for your home screen customization. For example, on Creative App you have a section wherein you get to see some beautifully designed home screen setups created by many creative minds. These presets display the details of items used on those setups as well. We have got another app called 14KLWP Ultimate which offers some premium setups at a cost. These apps will make things easier for you. But if you have a creative mind, I don't think you need these applications at all. Right, I have shared about 7 tips over here. I request you to share your tips and tricks to get best looks on your home screen. Let's share each other's thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, when we exchange ideas, we get to know a lot of new things to do on our phones. I'm done here. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have not subscribed, hit that button and leave a like for this video. I'll catch up with you in the next video. 
Cheers. Bye-bye.